Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Now, today I'm going to be making a rap video. I was asked by, let me just check the name, the name was Scott Morgan. So thank you to Scott Morgan for the for the question, will I be doing some rap videos? Well yes, I've, uh, I went out and bought some uh, some wraps after reading his message. There we are, eight co-op branded wraps. And uh, what I'm doing, uh, you know I'm, I'm trying to clear out the freezer. I've got two of these jumbo cod fingers. There you go. They've been in here a while. They've been in the freezer since the 4th, uh, which is... Uh, <clears throat> let me just figure this out. A long time. Eight months. That's how. That's the kind of stuff... Because that's why I write the dates on them. So when I find it at the bottom of the freezer, <coughs> I can see how long it's been in there. Anyway, eight months. Uh, I'm going to be making some wraps with this, uh, maybe some lettuce, um, I've got some caramelised red onion chutney, I've got some burger relish, uh, I'm going to be sort of, got some tomatoes, <coughs> so I'm going to be using different ingredients for the, for the different wraps, I've got, uh, I've got fish wraps, I've got uh, maybe some chicken wraps, some pork loin wraps, uh, some all kinds of stuff. Right, first thing, I'm going to cook the chicken, fish. As you can see, uh, I'm going to be using one of the jumbo fish fingers. I don't think I'll get two in there because I'm going to be doing a double wrap. <clears throat> and it's not going to work. But also, I found one fish finger in the in the freezer. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the jumbo one in there for 10 minutes, then put the mini fish, fish finger in there because they're not going to cook at the same time. There we are, 180 the temperature. Put that in for about 10 minutes, and when that's done, put the mini one in there, and then I'll put them in both in for about sort of 15 minutes, and then they'll both time out together. There we are, the fish fingers are about a minute or two away. So um, what I'm doing here is I've got two of the wraps. This is a double wrap. Now, there you go. There's one on the plate. Now, the trick is with the double wrap is you don't have them one on top of the other. You have one... There you go. I think you can be able to see that. There's the there's the first one. There you go. Put them up there. So there's a little bit of uh, overlap. The first one is further up. Now, the first thing you do is you've got some lettuce here that I've washed. Give it a give it a crush so then it'll lay lay flat. You can even rip it up, you know, just uh, lay it evenly around. About there, there you go. Now, you don't want to go too mad because it's going to be, there's going to be some other uh, ingredients in there. Um, next thing you do is the, we're going to put the fish on there. There we are, two bits of fish, one fish finger, one large bit of fish. Just put them in there. Now, I was going to, actually, I think I will actually, I was going to flatten them down, flatten them down just a little bit. There you go. Not too much. All right, and then uh, next job, a little bit of tom just a uh, three, three and a bit pieces of tomato. Now here's the uh, special ingredient. This is the Co-op's own brand. Uh, what do they call this? Uh, coleslaw. Here we go. Now, a little bit of this, just for a bit, a bit of moisture, because it, this will go nicely with the fish, I think. There you go, all the way up the top. Now, this is this is uh, not very liquidy, you know? So you don't have to worry about the, the, uh, the wraps getting too wet. Okay, so we've got lettuce, fish. I don't think I'll put any, I've got some coleslaw. I don't think I'll put any cheese in there, I don't think. Not the, not in this one. Okay, now there's the edge of the, the, uh, the, the first wrap right there, which is exactly level with the bit of fish. You fold it like that. And then basically you go from left to right. You go, and the plate's moving. You move this over from left to right, and then you take the other piece, you just fold it over. Now, it's uh, it's kind of chunky 
chunky wrap, so it's not going to be easy to hold it together. But there you go, that's all there is to it. And uh, as you can see, it's open there. You, you can fold this in, so it's all, you know, so it's folded just like uh, the other end. There we have it. So it's so, so one double, double fish wrap. There we go. The trick is, if you send the ingredients from the base all the way to the top, you're guaranteed a bit of everything all in the in the in the first bite. You know, the lettuce is crunchy; it's nice. Mm. Now, this is a meal in a wrap. You know, you just eat it with one hand, work the remote control with the other. Nice and crispy, the uh, the fish. Mm. Oh, got a lot of coleslaw on that one. The next bite should have some of that tomato. They have three rings of tomato in there. It's only a small tomato. And uh, yeah, and you, you know, I'll be doing a few more of these, mixing and matching ingredients. Um, but yeah, like like I say, the um, this brand, the Co-op, is quite a good cold slaw, along with the Asda one, if I remember. If you type in Mark's Remarks cold slaw, I've done reviews on two or three different um, cold slaws. Some of them are better than others. This one is very good because no, if it's got too much moisture in it, it will just seep through and it starts dripping out. At the bottom of the, uh, the wrap, you know. Mmm. This is good. The creamy crunch of the coleslaw. Crunch of the lettuce. Crunch of the uh, breadcrumb on the fish. It's very nice. Mmm. So, as you saw, one jumbo fish finger and one regular fish finger. If you go in the freezer and you find, you know sometimes you do that, you go in there and you find out you've got one fish finger, you've got one hash brown, you've got one sausage in there, you know. No good to anybody. Just put them in a wrap, make a meal. Mm. There you have it. Simple, easy, very filling. And with the S, very filling because it's got the double, double wrap there. And it helps keep it all together because a single wrap might be easy to rip or it's, you know, it's going to fall apart. But with a double wrap, it makes it more sturdy. Mm. Getting into the tomato now. Well, there you have it. Let me know what you think. Maybe that will inspire you. And uh, thank you very much for watching.